Yo YouTube fam, what's going on? Jeff Fall here back at it again with another video. And uh, for today's video, we're going to be talking about uh, my experience in my new job in the CV ICU. That's the Cardiovascular Intensive Care Unit, for those of you that don't know. And I've been working there for a few months now, and officially I've been off of orientation for a while now, and uh, yeah, it's been a pretty cool experience. Uh, the previous job I had uh, um, was a telemetry job, and I'm currently still doing that, but I'm just per diem now. So I worked there a few months out of the, a few months, a few days out of the month, and uh, yeah, I've just been like trying to balance the two jobs, and uh, that's where I'm at right now. So yeah, definitely stay tuned. I'm gonna let you guys know how it's been working in the CVICU. All right, guys. So like I told you before, I was doing telly, and uh, you know, it was a good experience overall. I learned a lot on the floor. And you know, a lot of stuff transitioned over from telly to the CVICU, which was like a huge help. Uh, and like, uh, I'm super grateful for all that information, that training that I received, because I use it every day. You know, working telemetry, you get used to reading EKGs, uh, looking at rhythms, hanging blood, uh, you know, giving antibiotics, and you get used to what's normal and what's abnormal, so you get really good at identifying the differences between the two. So um, it helps prepare you. You're not coming into the ICU like brand new, like. Uh, not knowing anything pretty much so that's a big help but the thing about telly and like uh med search and like uh, all those other like general floors is like uh you get super burnt out man like uh uh you guys should check out my first video like where i talked about like uh being a new grad and like starting off work and like three months after like orientation and stuff like that you know i was super excited at that point uh, you know my first nursing job uh, you could only like uh, go up from here and uh, and you know even at that point I knew I didn't want to do like telly like uh, for too long uh, but you know I did it I was like okay you know let me see how this goes maybe I'll stay here for like a year two years and like uh, it'll be a great experience and in the end it ended up being a great experience but like I said you just get burnt out man like uh, it's a lot of work being on a telly and like med surge floor and uh, you know shout out to all my telly and med surge nurses you know what I'm talking about. And you know, not to say that the ICU is any like more easier, cause it's definitely not. It's actually like the same amount of work like rolled into two patients that you're documenting on every hour. But like um, on telly, it was like a different experience. So usually we'd have like six patients or like if you start off with four patients, you'd have two admissions by the end of the night or like one discharge and then three admissions. And yeah, it's, it's just a lot of like, uh, busy work like not really busy work but like task oriented work like you'd come into work and uh, it's like as soon as you step on the floor like work to start it like uh, like I said you had six patients you had to basically know those patients like the back of your hand pretty much you had to know what's going on with them uh, like uh, what consults uh, they had pending what like uh, pending labs or any uh, medications or anything like that that they needed and then you had to know like pretty much everything about them in like 30 minutes so that in itself could be pretty stressful um uh, just like having all that information that you have to know about all those patients because you're the one providing care for them like at night uh, there's no doctors there inside the hospital so when you're calling for like a medication that you need or something in regards to the patient you have to know them like give the doctor a short summary of who the patient is what's going on with them and then like uh, the thing that you need for them because like a lot of the time they're sleeping and they don't know what's going on now granted like these patients are gonna be more stable um, a lot of them either like have like more minor issues that like don't require them to be like at a higher level of care as opposed to a patient being in like the ICU setting where they require like uh, hourly monitoring and like they have like a lot of IV drips that are keeping them alive and stuff like that but still I'd prefer like the ICU setting where I'm just like uh, managing two people and then I could like know those two people in and out and trust me when I saw you guys like uh, having two patients is like not easier than having those six patients it's like uh, honestly the same like amount of work but you know like I said I'd rather take care of two people than having to take care of six people so life in the CVICU how could I even describe it uh, it's been lit it was like a huge, uh, pretty big learning curve, I would say. Uh, there was a lot of stuff that I wasn't used to, and then coming from another hospital system, I was used to a different charting system. Uh, so the charting system that I'm using now in the ICU, I don't really like too much, because it's like 
all over the place. But you know, gotta do what you gotta do. That's the only system that they have, so you gotta make do. That was really one of the biggest issues I had, just using that new charting system and learning that, finding out where everything is at, all the patient information, and stuff like that. And you know, I'm still finding out stuff to this day, but uh, you know, I'm a little better at it than I was before. Uh, second thing uh, would be just knowing where everything is located. Uh, like on my old floor, I know where everything is pretty much. On this floor, I had no idea where anything is. And like uh, to this day, I'm still finding out where stuff is located. A lot of the stuff is like uh, not where you'd like think it would be. So I'm just like trying to memorize like where a specific stuff are, I'm taking that day by day. I'm also still getting used to a lot of the new drugs that they use in the CVICU as well. Um, a lot of the medications that they have are like uh, drugs that you have to titrate, which means like you have to like adjust the level um, every like uh, minute or every five minutes or whatever, whatever like that uh, duration of like titration is. So you're going in and adjusting like uh, micrograms of medication. Uh, for each patient to get them at a therapeutic level. And you're doing this for patients on like multiple drips. They could be on like a levofed or a neosinephrine and you're going in and like adjusting that medication to get the patients at uh, the correct blood pressure. Or you're going in and adjusting like the different uh, sedation medications like Profofol or uh, neuromuscular blockers like uh, what is that, Nimbex and stuff like that. So it could get a little hectic at times because uh, these are all like new drugs for me. So I have like this little book that they gave me that I'm like constantly referencing to see like uh, how to titrate the different drugs. But so far it's been going good. Also, I'm getting used to a lot of like uh, the patient care related uh, with like uh, patients on a ventilator and like uh, patients with tracheostomies and like uh, ET tubes. And lastly, you're just learning about all like the new equipment that they have in the ICU, like uh, they have rapid infusers to like infuse blood rapidly to a, place, to a patient that's like bleeding out. Each patient in the ICU has their own like a monitor set up that's hooked up to them and it takes vitals like every, uh, uh, like based on different intervals, it can take them every five, every minute, every minute, every five minutes, every 30 minutes, every hour and so on. Um, uh, Hemodynamics also, um, pretty new to that stuff, uh, learning like about the different uh, catheters like A-lines, PA catheters, uh, Swan-Gans catheters, all that stuff. I mean, like I said earlier, it's a pretty big learning curve, but you know, it's not too crazy. Like, I feel like I've been progressing pr at a pretty good rate. Um, like I told you guys before, I'm off orientation now and like uh, I find like the biggest thing that helps like someone new to like the ICU or any new setting is to just ask questions whenever you feel like you don't know the answer as opposed to just like uh, saying like or tricking yourself into thinking that you know what to do and just doing it. Even if you know the answer, it might be just like good to confirm with somebody else just to make sure that your like uh, observation or your assessment is correct and like your plan or like your next move is the uh, right one and like you're not gonna go make a mistake that could potentially kill a patient or like uh, do severe injury or harm to them. The more I do take care of these patients though, I start to realize like, uh, you know, patient care is actually the same in regards to like any like floor that you're working on. Like, uh, I'm starting to realize that, like, uh, you know, it's not really too different taking care of an ICU patient and a uh, tele patient. And, you know, at the end of the day, you're still going to do what you can to provide them with the best of care that you can provide. And, you know, another cool thing um, is, like, just uh, seeing all the different types of, like, uh, nurses that work in the ICU. Um, uh, you start to realize that you thought you knew something before coming into the ICU setting, but you really knew nothing. Like. Uh, some of the nurses there have like years, like decades of experience and like they just know pretty much everything. Like you could ask them something and they'll like regurgitate like textbook information to you, which is like mind blowing to me. And you know, it's cool because like at some point you realize like they started out like you, they were fresh uh, out of school or like brand new to the ICU and they didn't know really anything. And then like as the years go by, they just like, get more knowledge, more information, get more educated. And they just have that solid knowledge base that you know, like that you get from doing that work every single day. And then, you know, it just makes me wonder like a year from now, where will I be? Like, what will I know? And uh, you know, just a cool thought in my head. And you know, at times you could feel like a little intimidated thinking that you may like feel like inferior to everybody else and like uh, stupid in a sense, but you know, in a way it kind of is like that, but it's expected. Cause like I said, you're new and they expect you to be new, they expect you to have questions, and uh, 
for our, me and my experience, everyone's been super friendly and open to like answering my questions, whatever they were, and like helping me out whenever I needed it. Uh, you know, a lot of people say that nurses like to eat their young. Um, honestly, in my personal experience, that hasn't been the case. Like, um, I find that if you're willing to like open yourself up and ask questions and like be willing to like learn new things from like people around you, they'd be willing to teach you. So that's uh, pretty much my opinion on that. I feel like uh, people would start not to trust you and like not believing in you when you start like acting on your own and like uh, making your own decisions without like consulting somebody first. Like uh, especially when you're new to like a new floor, a new setting, um, it's best to just like, uh, you know, ask questions, get information, learn how like stuff is done over there before you do anything. It's also so, uh, it's also interesting to see like the different types of patients too that come into the CVICU. So we get pretty much all the cardiovascular patients, uh, all of them that have to have like the open heart surgeries, the heart attacks, uh, you know, that have uh, the balloon pumps, uh, ECMO, extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, just like a uh, heart and lung bypass. Uh, and you know, that's at the bedside, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, all the valve replacements and uh, stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, lots of variety in like the different uh, cardiovascular stuff that we can do to like extend someone's life or like uh, help make their life better. All right guys, that's pretty much the end of this video. Um, like I said uh, before, it's been uh, pretty great. Uh, like I said before, it's been a pretty great experience in the CVICU so far and I'm super excited to see like uh, or I'll be like uh, months in, like years down the line from this point. Um, like I always knew the ICU setting is where I wanted to work, like even during nursing school. Um, it's like the only, uh, pretty much the only floor that had like any like uh, interest to me. I know it may sound weird or like morbid or stuff like that, but um, I always enjoyed like helping out like uh, my fellow nurses, whoever had like a crashing patient or like uh, if they had a cold blue or like someone wasn't breathing or stuff like that. I would always be in the room, like helping out, like, doing CPR and like giving medications if need be. So, um, you know, that's like a daily thing in the ICU and uh, yeah, I feel like it's the perfect spot for me right now and uh, I'm liking it. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, list them in the comment section and uh, I'll be sure to reply with the video or just like by answering the question down there. Um, definitely like this video, give me a... Uh, thumbs up or a share and yeah I'll catch you guys on the next video